Pick up where you left off. Okay. Is that one. Gail? She want to do traffic? Okay. Hi, Gail. Hi, Russ. What do you got? I've got um, <laughs> uh, Dallas Morning News Quick and AOL for Broadband. Sorry, I hit it on the back of some information. There's a big old gas main break west of Carroll in Kaufman County, and Highway 80 is totally shut down between the spur and Highway 205, it's a high-pressure gas main at the industrial district there. Excuse me. Uh, also brought to you by the GM Employee Discount. The GM Employee Discount is retiring. You pay what we pay, but only until Friday. And participating dealers take delivery by Friday, September 30th. In Dallas, if you're headed downtown on Simmons, it's slow from Inwood down toward Continental due to an earlier stalled car. A wreck on the tollway northbound just before 635 is blocking the left lane on westbound 635. Past Webb Chapel, you've got a disabled vehicle in the HOV lane. Car on fire northbound 67 at Polk. The right lane is blocked. Traffic backed up to Leadbetter. In Arlington on southbound 360 before Division, they just cleared a problem, but traffic is backed up all the way to Riverside. And then Fort Worth on southbound 35 before Rosedale, the left lane's blocked. Heavy traffic from 280. And in Flower Mound on eastbound 1171, the roadway shut down at Old Cross Timbers Road. There's an overturned semi there. Why did your last diet fail? Stress raises cortisol. Relicor helps reduce cortisol. You need Relicor. Available at retailers nationwide or call 1-800-506-7515. I'm Gail Lightfoot on the Russ Martin Show. Thank you, Gail Lightfoot. Brought to us by America Online. You can go to live1053.com for your free trial. They keep promising the weather's going to cool off. It looks like it actually will tonight. They say 63 for the overnight low after it's already 103 now. And then tomorrow, only 80 for the high. So as the fair comes in, so does the fall weather. It's 103 now at Live 105.3. Has anybody been by Gavin's office? Did you guys see him? I've seen him walking around the halls. He's free because his, his contract is about to run out. Mm-hmm. Everybody went out of town. Pretty so obviously they're out they're, for a week. Well, yeah. So he's going to be working without a contract. That's kind of that is a little freaky. I told him to go ahead and take what they were offering. It's not like he was going to get anywhere. At, Gavin. Is he not in there? No, his door's still open, but he's not in there. Hmm. I thought they came back with a very fair offer. Did they? Yeah, I told him to take it. Are you doing him like you did me? Are you? Are I you, did you a dandy job. Are you negotiating? I threw out a few suggestions. Okay. You got more money when I stepped in. Oh, I know you did. I know. I know you did. Oh, they weren't gonna. They weren't gonna loosen up the purse strings. Make it quick. I know you got more money because it's written right here in the thank you. Oh, that's right. I didn't get a card. Actually, you did get a card for that. I got yes, an you, yeah, I got an email. You also got a card after that, after the new contract negotiation. Were those those Jesus cards? That was later. No, I think that, that all the thank yous came with the Jesus cards. Yeah, it was about... Well, those don't count. Oh, God. <laughs> they do. Mm-hmm. It's about our journey together. We ain't taking no journey. We are. Mm-hmm. And well, I think we are. They want to keep him for three years. Okay, what's wrong with that? He don't want it. You don't want three years? Mm-mm. What does he want? I don't know. Gavin. Yeah. You, what are you doing? Working. Mm. What's up? When are they finally going to get your uh, contract worked out? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Hopefully soon. How come you're not going to take the deal? I don't know. You really want to get into it? It ain't my contract. I'm the one that told you to take it. <laughs> what you did? Not. <laughs> you told him not to take it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, that's a screw job. You're not gonna let him dick you around for three years. It's bad enough to take it for one year. Yeah. Why you want to triple it? That's true. So what are you gonna do? Uh, I guess I'll 
guess work without one. Is that a good idea? Um, no. I mean, it's okay. When when does it run out? Is it the Thursday or Friday? Friday. Yeah. And uh, the GM and everybody's gone for how long? They come back Monday. Oh, I thought they were gone for a week. So what are you going to do? Try to get something done. Mm. What is it you don't like about the offer? Maybe I could. Would you like me to get David Henry on the phone? And we get this handled before he goes to uh, Cabo. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's it's just it's, it has to do with the. Um, there's just a couple things. Well, what things do you not want in there? Um. Did you get a raise? Yeah. What percentage? Um, not as much as uh, you got. But a healthy one. What percentage? I'm going to get into like exact percentages. Well, I don't want to know exactly how much you got. I just want to know what percentage of an increase you got. Above average. I can't, I, I can't go into that. What was the percentage? You know what I got. You don't, it, you, not only percentage, you know exactly what I got. I know. Well, what, how much uh, would you get? Rob, go in there and find out. No, don't. Come on. Just give us a percentage number. Just wait, that doesn't tell us what you make. And it's preferable to an ass whipping. Yeah, because I would say you're probably looking at the monitor. You got about another eight seconds. Hurry up. You know what? If I were you, I'd take a deep breath right about now. <laughs> <laughs> in there? What? Rob, call him off. What happened? Gavin thought he could hide under his desk, so <laughs> Rob turned it over. <laughs> <laughs> Call him off. Come on, Ross, seriously. What percentage? I can't go into percentage. Rob? <laughs> Give us a number. Don't leave there until you get an answer out of him. Yes, sir. <laughs> 10%? 20? Yeah, it's somewhere in between. 30? No, it's somewhere in between. Is it over 30? No! Oh, no! <laughs> you got over 20% raise? Is it over 30? What, you don't think I'm worth it, Judy? I was just telling you what they told me. Nobody got more than what I got. Nobody. And I'm telling you, I did not get a bigger percentage than you. What did you get? If it's over 20, it was. Nothing's been nothing has been determined yet. Nothing's been determined. <laughs> <laughs> he can't breathe. I understand. Rob, let him loose long enough to answer the question. What percentage did you get? I, I seriously, I, I don't know. All I, right, cut him back off. No. Rob <laughs> 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 doesn't know when to stop. All right, turn him loose, Rob. What percentage, Gavin? I'm choking up all of this. Okay. <laughs> That's some kind of gay term. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. Uh, it's a phrase they use in the bathroom. Sure. You know what you're doing. You know, it wasn't as much as JD. How's that? What percentage? I can't give you the exact amount. All right. No. Pinch him, Rob. No. No! <laughs> 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 Huh? Call him off. I forget the command. <laughs> How about call off? I don't stop. think that works. Uh, Rob. Alto. Rob, stop. Did that work? That must be the one. So I'm good. <laughs> All right, Rob, you can turn him loose. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is it 25%? Gavin, yeah. shake it off. Uh, no, I'm using my calculator. Okay. What did they tell you was the max that uh, anybody could get, John? Twelve and a half. <laughs> you got more than that. They didn't tell you twelve and a half. What they did? That's been a while. I can't remember what the number was. I thought it was twelve and a half. Wasn't much more than that because we went back and forth and back and forth. And they were. You they got were... a lot more than twelve and a half percent increase. Okay, whatever. I don't remember the numbers. How could you not remember of like a forty-eight percent increase? Oh, was it forty-eight? Oh, okay. I don't remember. I remember it was a good deal. I signed it. 
Wow. What? 48%. That's awesome. That's about what it was. Okay. 10, 48. Eh. I didn't want to say that. That don't make no difference. I hurt Gavin's being. Gavin don't make no Gavin, what'd you get? I was trying to make him look good. Still adding. All right. All right. It doesn't make any difference. You're not going to take it, right? No, because the money's not the point. What's the point? Uh, I just want a less of a term. I don't understand that. You got, especially in radio, you've got somebody that wants to commit to you long term. Yeah. We we see a value in you, and you don't want that. No, because they, all right. Here's here's the truth, and everyone's gonna call me a kiss ass. Okay. I told them I would not sign, or I did not want to sign. One of the big reasons is is that I wanted my deal up before yours because I didn't want to run a radio station without you. I don't believe it. Well, clearly it's true. If you turn it down a three-year deal and the money's not the Yeah, there's something else there. That's a dandy one to throw up. Yeah. And it sounds believable. It is. But that ain't it. But what else could it be? I don't know. Yes, please tell me what else it could be. Because we're up in, what, two years, April? I think so. Yes. April 2006? No. Seven. 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 Is that right? I think so. Five, six, no, yep. eight. Eight. It's two years this coming April. We'll be up. Okay? That's 2008. Eight. I don't want to be here that long. <laughs> what else do you want to do? You want to quit? I want to move on to... Um, what? I, I know your third year number. <laughs> don't you tell me you don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot to get raised. Yeah. <laughs> They're crazy ones, too. Yeah, they're nuts. <laughs> it's out of control. Yeah, it is. So what does that have to do with your contract? Because I just I want to be closer in sync, and that will put me six months after yours. That's not that long. Yeah. Do you get a severance package? I'd get a good one. Mm. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Okay. Well, then take the deal. I promise to stay another six months. How about that? After your deal's up? Yeah. And you think it's a good deal? I don't know what you're worried about. Every time I've had a contract, we always seem to renegotiate it about halfway through. So in probably another eight to ten months, we'll probably renegotiate this one. That's true. And that's happened every single time. So you're safe. If that's really the reason that you're doing this, which I don't buy, then you're covered. Why can't you buy that I care about the show? I just can't imagine basing my career on somebody else's. Well, I can see it from Gavin's point of view. Because at that point, you don't have Stern. And if he lost you, then it's going to be on his shoulders that a radio station craters. No, well, but the, well, That's losing right. Stern is not going to be his fault. No. So if the rest of the station folds, everybody knows it's got nothing to do well, with the Gavin. station's not going to fold with you here. What I'm saying is if, well, I can see his point that if you left at the end of your contract and he still had six months, then about six months the station craters, and that looks bad on his resume. Mm -hmm. I'll stay the six months. All right. You going to take the deal? That pulls me closer, yes. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, hang on a second. You want to see Gavin without a shirt on? How long have you been working out? Seven years? I mean, off and on. Yeah. You really got to see this. Okay. Can you come in and let us look again? Oh. Come on. Something's wrong with him. You can't work out that often and not show some type of uh, development. Something. Yeah. Who's on the hotline? Dr. Venegas. What does he want? Let's check up on you with your allergies and everything. Oh. Hi, Carlos. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Good. How are your allergies going? Uh, they seem to be all right. Yeah, I uh, was listening. You were, uh, you were off on Monday because I guess they started acting up. Yeah. Yeah, are they better now? Yeah, I doubled up on the nose spray and uh, the other stuff. How's, uh, how's the drainage going? Uh, it's, it's there. Still just as bad or, or not as much? Uh, hold on a second. Trey, turn around. Don't watch him undress. Go ahead, Gavin. You want the whole thing? Yeah. Trey wants the whole show. Yeah. 
Have you seen this, Everett? No, no, I haven't. <clears throat> you need to turn around there. Oh. Keep it in mind, he's been working out seven years. Right, right. <laughs> Not straight. All right. Let's Not uh, with a trainer. Two years straight? I'd say a year. All right. Okay. You ready? Yeah. You want to go ahead and flex for him, Gavin? No, there's no reason. It's already... Yeah, I think there's freaking flex. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So degrading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, Mr. Trenholm? <laughs> Stand next to me that night. You know where the ladies will be looking. <laughs> They'll be looking at the G-Man. <laughs> once these guns start coming, once I start showing the dictionary. <laughs> you know. Oh, you missed the one from yesterday, oh, Trey. What do you got, Gavin? What do you got more of? More muscles than the ocean floor. <laughs> <laughs> You dizzy? Yeah. It's like you have those stored up like nuts for winter. <laughs> <laughs> the phrases? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. You put the shirt back on. The shock value is gone. Yes. <laughs> are you changing your workout uh, leading up to this? Yeah. What are you going to do? It's more cardio now. Yeah. Are you trying to lose more weight? Just tone up. Yeah. At least you get sympathy money. <laughs> God, wow. Whoa. That's so ass to say that. <laughs> wow. Chloe took a swipe. What about you, Everett? How you doing? I'm doing good. You want to see me my shirt off? I don't think I've ever seen that. Would you like to? I'm quite hairy. I think I would. Okay. Let's okay. just all take our shirts off. Let's all do that. Let's no. don't. Okay. Now, I understand I haven't been working out as long as Gavin. <laughs> God. Can we look now? Yeah. Go ahead. I didn't realize you had that much hair. Yeah, I'm a hairy guy. How long have you been working out? A couple of weeks. He's got a pretty good chest about him. Mm -hmm. She's been working me pretty hard. You know, yeah. Just a couple of weeks. And look at his arms. Yep. Gavin, yeah, why can't you be like that? I know. <laughs> I got something. <coughs> Where? <laughs> oh, it's there. Uh, night of the show, I'll be ready. What's going to happen in the next two and a half weeks? Just continue working hard. Mm -hmm. Continue buffing up. What? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Look forward to making a lot of money for I the foundation. I understand. Hi, Carlos. Hey. Yeah, everything seems to be fine. Okay, how's uh, how your workouts doing? Uh, they're okay as well. Yeah, I mean you're you're getting the results that you want. I think so. Your cardio is working out well. You're you're kind of getting beefed up. Okay. Good. Good. So you're you're happy with the advice I've given you? Yeah, everything seems to be working okay. Well, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad things are working out well for you. Okay. I'm really, really glad. Kind of, I'm kind of bummed, but uh, I'm glad things are working. Uh, the the advice I'm giving you is working out. I don't know, what are you bummed about? Well, I, I kind of figured, and you keep, you know, uh, alluding the fact. I kind of figured I was a regular, semi regular on the show, and kind of felt uh, a little insulted when I, when I wasn't even asked to participate in uh, the LaBear stuff. <laughs> I mean, I used to play pro beach volleyball. I mean, I work out. Uh, thought it was the men of the, uh, you know, you know, Russ Martin show. And you can, I, I can are, you can, you can dance. Well, I mean, now you're in. I, no, I'm not going to force myself into it. Nah, that, 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 was, I, have to, I have to bring it out. You know, it was, ask you, and it's so it it was a, insulted. It was an oversight. Yes, you're in. Well, I mean, maybe you and maybe you and Fetner can come up with an act and do uh, some kind of opening thing. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. If, well, I don't know if Fetner's doing that. <laughs> what? But, I, I like talked I said, to Fetner. You know, a little insulted. You know, just just a bit. But you know, no big deal. Is there? A is there anybody else we missed? I know we talked about this before. Robert, I've gone down the list. I really didn't think. You know, 
the docs with mm, would want to be on stage. Well, I, Carlos works out all the time. He runs. Okay. But well, I, I, I didn't realize. To raise money. Say it again. To raise money for the foundation. I mean, that's all right. a worthwhile cause. Okay, you're in. Wow. Get with the guys, and then you'll work out your choreography. When are you guys going to meet with Randy we Master Blast? We didn't, uh, we didn't ask Tim Powers. Well, yeah, right, him well, we can do Tim Powers, and we'll get Gary from the Grove. Okay. <laughs> Eddie. Huh? Black Eddie. Black Eddie. Black yeah. Say what, Carlos? Can I get two weeks of Larry North stuff? Uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll get you that. You you can get your own testosterone. <laughs> I can get it anyway. Right. Uh, again, it was, it was just a principle. Just a principle. You're in. All right. I mean, you don't sound too convincing, but all right. I, I, I apologize for forgetting. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's all right. Um, You're in. Thank you. We're working now with Mandy, uh, Randy Master Blaster Friday morning and then again on Monday. Those are the two times that are set up right now. Okay. When did those come about? Uh, today. Yeah. Oh. Can you make those, Trey? What time? And that's a Rob question. Okay. I'll talk to Rob during the break. This coming Friday? Yes. Okay. Why is it going to be on a Friday and a Monday? Why can't he do it on those a Monday? Those are the only two days that Randy had available for us. We're going to have some people that can't make it. Well, then we'll do it again next week whenever everybody can. Most of us will get together. We'll know the routine. We can help teach these guys. I mean, I'll go if I have you know some notice and don't have court or something. Okay. All right, everybody's cool. All right, that's fine. Can I read you an email? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sitting on this for 15 minutes. <laughs> All right. I need some music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Wait a second. Yeah, Jeffrey? Yeah. Y'all sitting there admiring each other with your shirts off. I mean, is this turning into some big old gay thing? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it felt gay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, thank you. <clears throat> I know I've said this before. <coughs> Trey, you didn't dance last year, right? No. Okay. When you guys show up, just you, you think you're ready for this? You won't be. No. Oh, I, I danced. Oh, yes, I will. You think you will. I've been on did this. You get, Jay, did you get your junk grab last last oh, time? Yeah. yeah. They, they're pretending to stuff money in, but they're grabbing. What about you, Club? I forget. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dan? Have you talked to that chick well, with the uh, the what is it the the wet sticky something? <laughs> there is no chick with that. We got the email. We know it came out of your account. Who's the chick you've been flirting with that you invited out? I'm not doing that. Anyone can type up anything to look like an email. Okay, and this particular time, you did. <laughs> Except that I didn't. All right. How do you explain it came out of your account? I can't. Because I didn't write it. Okay. So will the, the chick with the sticky Edies be there? <laughs> sure, she'll be there. Okay. Way to play it, O'Malley. Yeah. That was nice. He's got some chick he's been going back and forth with. She she asked about the event and wanted to know what was going to go on and who was going to wear what and but just all the specifics. And then it got sticky. It's just sort of blossom. <laughs> yeah. And then it went back and forth. And all of a sudden, Dan's asking if she's going to bring her big stinky wet... <laughs> It really yeah. very nice. Very excited for you, Dan. All right, what's the email? I think it's on music. Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? What's what's the theme of the email? It's uh, asking for f a favor. All right, let me see what I got. You tell me when I get to the music that fits. All right. No. No. Getting closer. All right. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Still looking. I can go with Love Train. <laughs> <laughs> Subject. Hello from Gene and Julie of KBIL. <laughs> Dear is, Rush. Is that the is that the morning show? <laughs> What's the matter? I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> you still want the music? Uh -huh. right. Let's see what else I got. Hold on a second. Spook, leave. 
You've been down to the convention center? No. <laughs> God. <laughs> God. Am I there? Sure, that'll work. All right. Hello. From Gene and Julie at KVIO. Dear Russ, we are Gene and Julie, and we are the new morning show at KVIO. Gene wants to come by one afternoon and sit in on your show. <laughs> Would that be possible? <laughs> Thanks. Gene and Julie of KVIO. <laughs> Is that real? That's real. <laughs> That's an AOL account. Yeah. <laughs> what the F? Let him come by. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it doesn't say why. He just wants to come hang out. Just come sit in, sit in on the show. And plug them morning show, I'm sure. All in the same family. You know, radio. Step in. Come down to the pond, little deer. <laughs> Have a drink. Yeah, what could happen down here while you're hitting the water? <laughs> Never mind the rattling bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing going on in the bushes. Focus on the water. Well, the fish do have teeth. <laughs> what? Uh, who's heard the show? Have you heard it, Clark? A little bit of it. I have not. I have. Oh, that's right. You don't like it, do you, Trey? It's horrible. But I don't think they're allowed to talk as much anymore. <laughs> Every time I tune in, it's music. Well, it's got, obviously got to be targeted towards a, a female crowd. Mm -hmm. Probably, what is KBIL? 18 to 40? Probably at this point, 25, 54 <laughs> females. Okay. I would think. So what do they talk about? Oh, their marriage and kid and just sticky. Oh, I did, you know. He's just pussy whipped. And is he really? Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. What is today? Wednesday? Dan, yeah. see if you can get him up this week. All right, I, I'll give this to Rob. I'll give Rob to handle it. <clears throat> Where the hell would this come from? I don't have a clue. Not even explaining why. Just eh, come in and sit in. Chat. Maybe sip some water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very excited. How are we doing, Club? <laughs> now? Please, very, very soon. Go ahead and get it out of the way. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. What did Carlos want? Uh, basically, he wanted to know. You cut him off kind of early, and he wanted to know. Possibly, if your mom had a date tonight. The Mo George came by his office today for something, and he picked up a bunch of Viagra. Probably so. <laughs> he was asking. I'm sure she's going to get it right. <laughs> and at her age, it's yeah. probably easier to hit. <laughs> Well, yeah, tissue like that sort of grows and it expands over time. Kind of like your nose, the cartilage in your nose, how older people's noses get bigger. That happens to a, a chick's? Yeah. Yeah, they, they also take on a sort of fibrous, jerky-like texture. Oh, <laughs> and you know this how? You've been chewing on an old woman's... <laughs> well, when you say it like that, it sounds distasteful. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Chloe, you got a tissue? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. You're making that up, right? <laughs> I've started down a path I would like to <laughs> turn back from. Oh. Call. Call. I really thought in the beginning this was a hose job. Mm -hmm. but th there's 
been stories I got from Rob about Limo George and my mom off the air that never got on the air. Yeah, I know. He talked to me about, Limo George talked to me about where to take her country dancing because he knows I like country music and he doesn't really. But that was totally off the air. Where'd he take her? I'm not even sure where they ended up going. I told him Cowboys and Arlington, but that's the mid-cities. It's probably too far to go. And I, I recommended Gellies. Well, that's cool. At least you know he's not just using her for sex. No. <laughs> Square dancing. Yeah, yeah. Sure, key. <laughs> he didn't take her to the debonair. And that's been closed for 25 years. Never in her dance hall. It's been not there. What about the... Um, what was that one on Northwest Highway? Old Top Rail? Yeah, what about the top rail? No, that's been gone for many, many years. No, it's still open. The top rail is? I thought it's, that was a uh, topless place now. No, actually, some friends of mine used to own it, and they just recently that's sold right. it. And uh, unless something's changed in the last three months, they're still open. They have a big country night, I believe, either Thursday or Saturday night. Yeah. What about the Longhorn Ballroom? <laughs> yeah. Now, and Dewey Grooms is, is unfortunately closed also before you go down that road. They're all gone. The Panther Hall. Mm -mm. Sportatorium. The way of Braniff. Scalers. <laughs> closed. Singer here. Skags. They've closed. Safeway. They're gone. Moses. Doors locked. I'm done. Mots. What? Mots. Shut up. <laughs> <sighs> she wants to go out and, and give it up to. I, I don't care. Mm. Just. We don't want to see it. I don't know anything about it. And she still wants to come stay at the house. How's that going? And is she there? No. But that doesn't mean she's not mm. working her way there. She's not working her way there. Mm. Especially now, if, if I'm going to have her there, and I know George is going to come by and chew in her beef jerky <laughs> in my house. <laughs> they can do that in the limo. They can do it wherever. I don't want it in my house. I don't want to see him with her. That's how he got sent home last time when my mom came. I forgot what we were doing at the house. Mm -hmm. I think it was Amy's birthday. Or, is that what it was? Yes. George has got her bouncing up and down on her on his lap. Yeah. Shaking her old woman jerky around. <laughs> Slip into a Slim Jim. Yeah. That's when she got sent home. Or he got sent he home. He got sent home, yeah. I just don't get the magic. They just like if each other's well, What do you figure George is? 53? Mm -hmm, something like that. Early 50s. I thought he's a little bit older than that. I don't think he is. I don't know. People fall in love. So yeah. she's she's probably... If you're I think about 8, 10 years older than he is. Okay. Well, that's not that uncommon. And I'm sure they enjoy each other's companionship. Yeah. They like the same things. They like yeah. the same movies. Country dancing. Dancing. Sex. You know, <laughs> things people... Dried meat do. sticks. All right. <laughs> I know with that. Who's the guy on for? He's the one that called in yesterday, I believe it was, asking if you would want him to write something for Spittleville. You said yes, and then I think he said he'd emailed something to you. Oh, yes, we have them. Did he? There you are, sir. I'm not reading all this. Did you look at it? Yes. It's, um, well, it's not in script form, and it's, it, just read one of them. Any particular one? Pick a short one. No, I, I just printed them all. They kept coming this morning about every 20 minutes. From him or different people? From him mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, the stakeout? That'll work. On on strike? Something. Isn't there a short one in there? Well, there's on strike. There's crime wave. There's Spittleville superheroes. There's save Spittleville. The homeless man. Homeless man's a good one. <laughs> homeless man's a page and a half. You can just start reading it. Just the beginning. Just read the first paragraph. The whole front page is a paragraph. I know. He doesn't have to use any punctuation. He didn't want to stop. So. Is this going to be a surprise? No, not really. It's just his ideas. He asks for ideas. Here they come. Chaos breaks out in Spittleville when the town fold deal... The hell does that mean? I don't know. The what? When the town fold... Town fold is one word. Oh, I got it. The town folk. People in the town. Okay. He means town folk. Yes. When the town folk deal with their first homeless person, a tattered man sleeping on Main Street with a newspaper over his face. Give that Dan Lewis. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> DJ and Russ get involved. Yes. I'm there. 
CJ, your buddy, sidekick. And uh, Mayor Gavin considers the man on uh, an eyesore once him arrested for. Is it, is it go like this? Mm -hmm. Is it getting better? It, it continues. You want me to give the punchline? Yeah. It's a mannequin, and, and people have pretended it's a, a homeless person all this time, and they brought things to him because they thought he was an evacuee. And at the end, you find out it's a mannequin that fell off the back of a truck. What about these other times? I didn't read the other ones. <laughs> I had to stop at that. The mayor forces Russ and JD. To, well, you got JD right. Are you sure this is from the same person? I'm not even positive. I got so, so many of them this morning. Look. Yeah, it's from the same guy. Okay. Uh, the mayor forces Russ and JD to start writing more tickets to raise revenue for the town. They go on strike. Lawless, uh, lawlessness. People run amok in town. Mm -hmm. Of course, it is such low-level, petty crime compared to real city that it's funny. When things get really crazy... Zaniness takes over. The town is begging them to come back. They make sure the, the mayor agrees to do something really outrageous before they will. That's the guy on four. Yes, Aaron. Hey, I didn't write any of those. I wrote the only ones that I sent were straight to you. And mine was the dramatic one that you asked for. I don't think I saw it. Uh, well, mine basically revolved around... Uh, since there was no uh, world that you created, I had to create my own. All right. I made, I made uh, Gavin the bad guy, and he has uh, cut the police officer's pay. And uh, he said you wanted someone to die, so I made Rob crazy. And so because he was crazy, they killed his wife. All right. But it was in script format. It was that uh, final draft I used. Okay. Well, then I'll take a look at it. Maybe I got it. Can we resend it? No. <laughs> I'm sure I have it. <laughs> I'll let you know. We'll okay. be in touch. Thank you. <clears throat> we got more than we did two days ago. Absolutely. Just some ideas. Why don't you work on some of them and rewrite them? I will. Spice them up. I've got them all. You going to no. do anything with it? Or I'm am I going to get shocked in another three or four weeks to oh. get nothing back? You won't get shocked. You'll be pleasantly pleased. You will. Don't you hit me. Because <laughs> of all the people uh, in the Spittleville Project, you're the one that's come out with the most so far. The most what? The benefit. Oh, because of the truck? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's How true. much stuff did four-wheel parts put in that uh, Spittleville truck? Pretty much everything you see except the light bar. Yeah. Well, how much? Oh, money-wise, it's got to be three or $4,000 worth of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. For nothing. Well, yeah. So when this is done, you turn around and you sell the truck. Eventually, someday. Yeah. Yeah. You getting mechanical work done on it? Yeah. I've done uh, tires, brakes, alignment, um, the push bar in the front, the siren. Uh, yeah, how about you do wheels. something then? <laughs> I am. What have you done? I've, I've written every script we've had up until now. We ain't got nothing. We've had, I've put two or three scripts together. Where? For just the stuff that we've done, the driving around, the interaction between you and the people we're chasing. Any, any script we've had so far, I've written. Chase so interaction dialogue. Yeah, that's, that's all we shot so far. Where is that? We used it on the show, on the shoot. I ain't never seen a script. Yes, you did. I sent them to you. And you know you have them. Rob will probably still have copies of them. Why would I have them? Pull them up right here. I know I had, I had them at one point. I don't know if I kept them because we've already shot those scenes. How does the dialogue go if you're driving around chasing people? Hey, we it's wish them fellers in, had stopped. No, it's back. Yeah, kind of, sort of. It's back and forth what, between him and me. What did you say, Everett? Hey, we wish them fellers had stopped. It's radio chatter between Russ and I and then what goes on between the other guys we're chasing. <laughs> You need to go back and work in dialogue like whatever it threw out about the old woman and what happens what happens to her at a certain age. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that could be a vignette as you're driving around chasing criminals. Yeah, during the high-speed chase, you're just having light dialogue back and forth right. explaining how old woman's innards turn into jerky. Here it is. I got it. Scene one, interior massage parlor. J.D. enters the room. Hey, darling. Chick number one. Hello, J.D. Good to see you again. J.D. Always good to see you. Chick two. You up for the usual? J.D. I always need a little relaxation. Very stressful out there. You've come to the right place. <laughs> on and on and on. Scene two is the exterior. I stop. I got the vibe of it. Exterior. No, I, I got the flavor. <laughs> okay. Be better with some jerky talk. Yeah, I'll put that in. You cut me off before I get some jerky. Do you, um... Some Marty Paints. I don't care anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You got any more news? Sure, tons. Why don't you do that? <laughs> okay. 
uh, brought to us by Gigglebox. And Clothes going to be out there at the uh, Good Guy Car Show. That'll be on Saturday at that's Texas Motor Speedway. He'll have Chuck Norris World Combat League tickets as well as the Sports City Cafe. Rob will be there on Sunday from 2 until 4. Uh, we kind of talked about this earlier, but this is something new that sort of came out this afternoon. The former FEMA director, Michael Brown, uh, was warned weeks before the Hurricane Katrina hit that his agency backlog, backlogged computer system could delay supplies and put personnel at risk during the emergency. Basically, he's saying, we told you weeks before this happened. Now he's coming out. And they've gone back to and found an internal review and an audit that's, that shows, yeah, he did actually say it. He said the 2004 hurricane season really backlogged their computers, and he warned everybody weeks before we're going to have a hard time moving moving people and things. Doesn't make any difference. No, nobody wants to. Nobody wants to put money into something until they need it. Sure. Because he said his budget uh, is part of the Homeland Security budget, and I think that's, is it $400 billion? I had that. That's I, two. I think they said, well, I'm not sure. I know there was $250 billion in damage. Now I'm talking about what is the Homeland Security budget. Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> FEMA's is a small part of that. Right. I think he said he had 3,000 employees and a... a Billion dollar a year budget for an organization that's supposed to cover the entire country. Yep. Nobody, nobody, nobody's ever been concerned about what they do. I don't want to put money into that. Well, until something comes up and then we need them, it's like, well, how come nobody was focusing on this? We go back to, you go back to nine eleven. Ten days before that happened, we've said this before. And you come up and said, hey, you know, in ten days, somebody's going to fly two jets into these buildings. They would have laughed you out of the. You guys need to put fire marshals, uh, fire marshals. Yeah, that would work in that situation. Yeah, we brought right. this up before. Uh, air marshals, uh, you need to beef up security at the airports. You need to do all of this. This is what's you, coming. Right. They would have left you out of the office. You can't, you can't sell it ahead of time. Yeah. And the hurricane. Hurricane's going to come through and wipe out New Orleans. Sure. Okay. Now, what do you want me to do about it? Get yeah, probably. the box fan. <laughs> Get that fellow what controls the weather. Yeah. Get a hold of him. <laughs> And then they expect FEMA to fix everything. I saw him on TV the other day, by the way. He's dead serious about the fact that... There's, Who is this? There's a guy that has a website, and he says the... Who is it that's controlling the Japanese. weather? Japanese are controlling the weather. And they're, then they're actually steering these hurricanes. That's why some of them do the loop-de-loop, because they're out just playing, <laughs> right. apparently. They haven't decided what they're going to hit yet. Right. It's beta testing. And they Yeah, we got hurricanes out in the Gulf of Mexico looking at all the different states going, I ain't touching you. No. <laughs> and then they hit one. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he says. He goes, right. that we, the, these people are steering the weather and controlling our weather, and he has proof of it. But he's dead straight on seriousness. What did he throw out as proof? Uh, he's got... Pictures of clouds that look odd. There's like one that's kind of square. He goes, all weather patterns are circular. Why do these clouds have a, have a square thing? Because they're being affected by electromagnetism. But where's the equipment? That I don't know. He didn't tell us that. It's somewhere, obviously. The, the foreigners got it because they're attacking us with it. <laughs> and he quit his radio. I mean, he had a he had a uh, he was been the weatherman at one of the like a major network television station, and he quit just to do this. Weatherwars.com. That's his website. History of mental illness? No, he actually came off, for somebody that's saying something really nutty, he actually came off kind of normal. Like he really not only believed What's it, the website? Weatherwars.com. Rob, see if you can find that guy. Yep. Thank you. Go ahead, sounds like a guy that's just been eaten up with the weather, you know, and followed the weather his entire life and then just kind of went a little bit paranoid. <laughs> just took one too many of whatever it is he's taken. Yeah. Uh, three groups, this is funny, that you've seen the movie Flight Plan or heard about it at least. Well, movie what? Flight plan with no. Jodie Foster. Mm -hmm. Three groups representing flight attendants are calling for a boycott of the uh, big... It was number one last week in the weekend uh, in the movies. Uh, the Jodie Foster... Hang on a second. Have you seen it, Chloe? Uh, I have not. Seen any new movies? Um, the, the Exorcism of Emily Rose and uh, The Corpse Bride. That's all I've seen lately. What happened with the first one? Uh, the Exorcism of Emily Rose. Pretty much um, a priest was on trial for the whole thing. And uh, he gets off at the end. Okay. And what about the other one? On oh, the corpse bride? Yeah. He marries his real bride. Okay. What is it, Rob? <laughs> Do you want Gene from KVIL's Gene and Julie show Thursday or Friday? Do it Friday. I'll be drinking. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Anyway, they're upset that flight attendants groups are now upset. They say flight attendants are shown in the movie treating passengers rudely and being... <laughs> 
It's just like, can't you ever have a movie without somebody going, oh, no, 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 that's rude. Uh, treating passengers rudely and being unsympathetic to Foster's character, whom they think might be delusional in the movie. Uh, the groups contend that the Disney film could breed distrust among members of the real airline passengers. So they say if they ever have another 9-11, <laughs> that people won't want to follow them because they saw the I understand. I don't care. They saw this movie. A lawsuit wants uh, the crosses removed from the Las Cruces City logo. Even though Las Cruces actually means the crosses. Two residents, Paul Wamberg and uh, Martin Boyd, have filed a lawsuit over the city's emblem because it features a sun with two crosses in the middle. Don't expect the lawsuit to go anywhere, by the way. In the past, New, Orleans, uh, New, New Mexico's governor, rather, Bill Richardson, had told Las Cruces their logo was fine and they didn't have to change it. Do you have the story on Anna Nicole and the Supreme Court? Yep. That was my next one, matter of fact. All right. Uh, Supreme Court will decide whether or not Anna Nicole Smith can finally pocket some cash from her dead husband's estate and has been uh, locked in a fierce battle. Has she not gotten anything up to this point? Not a dime. No, not a dime. Where is that money? Has it been in escrow? or? It's, in... I think, being held uh, in the registry of the court. I don't think it's been given to anyone. Didn't he die three or four years ago? Oh, it's like Longer 10 years that? ago. It's like 95. Oh. 96. She was in court three or four years ago. Yes. Okay. She's it's been, been on and off trying to get the cash. Right? Yes. What's the reasoning behind her not getting it? Well, I don't know that there was ever actually a will. He <laughs> he orally promised her that she would be taken care of, and then don't you at a certain point? If all right, let's say there's not a will, doesn't the wife get a good portion? of Well, yeah, and that's I think part of the problem because he died intestate. At least that's my understanding. Right. Meaning, you know, he had no will, okay, and therefore they're trying to figure out how to divvy up the estate, and and of course his relatives are in the mix and they were contesting. His sons this don't want her to get a dime. Yeah. E. Pierce Marshall, the son, has been the one that's really been pushing for her to get n nothing. She got like a $340 million judgment, which got reduced to uh, 88.6. But I think there's $474 million at stake. So Total. she did get something. She got it awarded, but she has never she hasn't had touched a penny of it because oh. it's still up for autographs. Oh, yeah. She you deserves know, it. You've said this before, right? She knew what she was doing when she married that old man. I don't give a rat's ass. Right. You go in and you sleep with an old man. You have something like that crawl all over you. You deserve what he, what he has. He's not, he was 90. Well, and he knew what was up, too. I mean, come on. He's 88 well, years old with right. his hot. Of course. He just, if he didn't want her to have it, he would have had a will. Yeah. Because he knows just the fact that you're married, she's going to get a good chunk of it. Yeah. And I, if I got some old man crawling all over me, I get whatever he's got. I guess. And part of their argument is they say their father at that point in time was not of sound mind, and therefore... It looked like he was. <laughs> yeah. I think he made a great decision. God, if I'm 88 years old, he can get yeah. some hot chick. Right. Bad, I'm all over it. of the year. Absolutely. I don't care how old he is. I don't get, care if he gets to a point to where he out cold. <laughs> 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 if he marries something like that, she deserves whatever he's got. All of it? The family gets nothing? I'd say at least half. I guess. I don't, I don't know how you put a price on getting screwed by an old man. <laughs> well, that's a crazy part. <laughs> no. Kingston briquettes. <laughs> yeah, it's <does> not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so, well, it would be, I, I don't know, whatever. Never seen a 90-year-old man, so I can't tell you naked, but... I could. I can only imagine a nine-year-old woman what it must look like. Everett, why don't you tell us? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're the one that's been chewing on their. I have. Their I strips. know. I know old men <laughs> that tell me these things. I understand. All right, go ahead. What's decision, it say? Decision will be due uh, by the end of next June, so it's going to go. To Supreme, it's going to go to the Supreme Court. Actually, it's going to go all the, all the way up to the Supreme Court. Actually, it's on a procedural issue. <laughs> the, the issue it's actually kind of technical and okay. mundane, but it's it's the extent to which federal courts can intercede in state probate actions. Why well, isn't you would think with as long as this has been going on, chicks marrying guys for their cash, why isn't there a precedent here? Well, understand that it's being appealed on that very limited issue, on, on the extent to which the feds can, can get in the middle of state probate cases. It's, it's not dealing with the underlying merits of the case. It's not dealing with who slept with who or why or if there's jerky involved. It's all about <laughs> exclusively the issue of whether the extent to which federal courts can enter into to state probate actions. Did the state grant her the money and then they went to federal court and they... Rejected that? I believe ultimately. All right, that's so it's not happened. the case anymore. It's who's got the right to say what she gets. Right. Exactly right. All right. How much are they fighting over? Uh, her judgment was eighty-eight point six million, but the total Out amount was four seventy-four million. Four seventy-four. And the family is, isn't happy with the, the three hundred some odd million left. They wanted to get nothing. That's the crazy part. You got that much, do hundreds of millions, almost half a billion dollars, and you can't make anybody happy. Right. Well, and he's an. I mean, that, a lot of his money, I believe, was in oil, which there's no telling what it was. You know, it's worth now. How long were they married? Oh, not very long. A couple of years, if that. 
Yes. I, that's a, that's plenty of time for a bunch of nasty crap to go oh, on. I'm sure it is. Well, and you know, and you don't know what he was into. Well, that's not for a doubt. I don't know. You're right. I certainly don't. He could have been into really freaky stuff that involved briquettes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there could have been all kinds of maintenance she, she had to do on I, him. I'm sure there was. I'm sure somebody had to clean him up. Well, you know, that kind of money, I bet not. I bet he had a nurse. She probably didn't have to do much of anything. But occasionally kiss him. He could have been he could have been all into to salad yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Repacking his colon. You know this cash. Ooh. Not eight years old. The, the time is just is horrendous. I know. Well, and everything you've never done, you know you better hurry up and do. So you get this hot chick and you're right. gonna try and do all of it. Yeah. He's never had that in his life. This chick with, with cans the size of car tires, yeah. you, you, know you know he's going to go nuts for a couple of years. Probably would knock him off. No. <laughs> Might have. <laughs> what? That's funny to me. It's not funny to say. <laughs> say it. Say it. I'll turn the mic on. Right. We need to go to... He just looks at her and says, "You know, I'm tired of I'm tired of eating on this. Take these teeth and go finish it up yourself." <laughs> yeah, the visual of those wind up chompers. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we need a break? All right, we'll come back. <laughs> to the Russ Martin Show. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. How long are these guys going to be in my house tonight? A couple hours. Eight to ten. You won't even know we're there unless you come upstairs. Are you going to stay with them the whole time? Yeah, of course. I would leave strangers in your house. Mm-hmm. All right. They only got burgundy? Well, that's what I ordered. Is that what you told me months ago you liked? We were talking about, I don't know how we brought it up other than the fact that I have a pool table. And I think I said something about the colors. And you went, I like burgundy. That's what I bought. So that's what they have. They don't just carry them around. I have to go buy them. Yeah. All right. How long does it take to dry? It's it's immediate. I mean, once they finish, you can play on it. Yeah. It's oh. kind of cool the way that well, they assembled my table. That was cool. But yours are already assembled. They're just going to have to pull yours apart and put it back together. They're going to take the table apart? They have to. That's how you get the, the felt in around the bumpers and around the, the slate. That makes sense. All right. Have you enjoyed your pool table? I ain't played on it yet. <laughs> He's laid under it. I've seen the underside more than I have the top. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's functional in some regard. I've been on it. I just got it because it's a, the middle of the room needed something. Yeah. And uh, previous owner decided to leave it. Well, that's cool. It's a nice table. After $750. That's a gr- You got that for $750? It's a 10 year old table. Still, it's still you got Jesus, to hold it. What do they cost? About five grand, yeah, at least for that one. Yeah, that's nice. That's table. a nice that quality. Table. Yeah, the balls don't even run down and, and gather in the the same area. Well, they're supposed, supposed to. to. They level. stick in the pockets. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to. You want to go on where you have to put the quarter quarters? I don't care about the quarters. I like it when they all come down to the same area. And you just pull them out and throw them into that plastic triangle. Well, no, you just have to pull them out of the pockets. You got to walk all, all, all the this. How many corners? <laughs> you got to hit every corner. Four, four corners, six holes. God. See if they can work it to where all the balls go no. down the same area. They can't. Those are in bars. Those are low-end tables. This you have a very expensive table. It just has the pockets, leather, leather pockets. I see. What are you going to say? I was just going to say maybe you could elevate one end of it slightly <laughs> and, and bring about the desired effect. Yeah, I was right. You had that face. I knew something was about to come out like that. 
you should have stopped at the. I'm just trying to. You should have stopped at the. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Danny, you ready? Yeah, I'm all set. What are you doing in there? Taking calls. <laughs> What's the matter? Random calls today, that's all. Well, like what? Um, someone else had called in wanting, uh, offering up to uh, write for the Spittleville script. I asked if he knew what script form was, and there was about five seconds of silence. You know what? Go ahead and take anything, because you never know where a good idea is going to come from. Oh, I, we, I, we could always take something and rework it. I absolutely. I told him, I said, go ahead and send us an idea. Even It doesn't have to be in script form, even if it's just one idea. And if it's something that, if nothing else, sparks something in one of us, then we could use it. Perfect. That'll be fine. What else do you get? Um, still getting a couple of callers uh, about the black discussion from earlier. What about that? Um, some people saying, lighten up. Other people saying, well, you probably really shouldn't use that word, even if you really don't mean anything by it. Talking about black people or me? Uh, both. I don't use it on the air. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cognizant of that. It's their word. They want to use it. They can it on the air. They can. Mine's restricted off the air. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No, that I've been reading up on Kabbalah today. Why is that? Because I saw it in a news story, and I realized I really didn't know a whole lot about it. I had a general idea, but I figured I'd, you know, look some of it up. I wanted to, I wanted to see how comparable it was to Scientology, if at all. What a bear's got to do with Scientology? <laughs> <laughs> That's koala. Shut up, Everett. You know. <laughs> why, are you really, why are you really reading about it? Uh, just out of curiosity. Since it's, you know, the new Hollywood thing, everyone seems to really... Oh, is it Mad Madonna? Yeah. Yeah, she's Madonna's Madonna good. that Britney Spears took after it because she does anything Madonna does. And what did you find out? It all seems to center around, first of all, apparently it's an ancient uh, wisdom. It's not really a, it says it's not a religion. And it's technically not a belief because they say belief is wrong because they're saying it's about knowing something in your heart, in your gut, in your mind. And it all revolves around the Zora, which is apparently the Kabbalah book, which is uh, spiritual light. Okay. So it's more of a lifestyle. It's not really a religion. Yeah, I'd go with that. State of mind? State of mind, lifestyle, yeah. Way of life. Okay. Do they pray to anybody? Qantas? <laughs> <laughs> I got that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if they do... <laughs> oh, Trey, stop it. <laughs> That's the most time delayed <laughs> reaction I've ever heard. Listen, that wasn't a funny. It's why I just kind of threw it out. Yeah. Whatever. Say so that would travel around the room a couple of times before it hit him. Sorry, I was slow. <laughs> okay. We can talk about this tomorrow. We got to go. Are you set? Yeah, I'm all set. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> All right, for more information about the Russ Martin Show, pictures, links, video, and webcams, just go to RussMartin.com. To get answers to any question you may have about the show, go to RussMartin.info. To instant email the show, and only during the show, just send that to studio at RussMartin.com. The other show websites, JohnDavidRyan.com, TheGrandDragon.com. I, I wonder how many different parts of the show like that nobody gets. Well, there's a few people that stuff goes by. You're very subtle. <laughs> well, that's why I figure, I wonder if... if like half the show nobody gets. No, not half the show. No. I think most people got that. It just took a second. <laughs> May have friends that can explain it. I understand. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dan. Go ahead. Or they'll call me and ask. Okay. Uh, DanAntasos.com, GailLightfoot.com, DJClo.com, and RobRiddlemoser.com. For law issues, contact Everett Newton at DallasAttorney.com or call 214-823-LAWS. For more information about Spittleville, go to Spittleville.com. For Black Eddie's weather information website, go to WeatherNIG.com. And the official site for KLLI is Live1053.com. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Good see night.
can now listen to The Russ Martin Show anytime you want on the web at russmartin.info. Station. Live. Live. 105.3.